this is going to be just a quick video explaining a concept which I don't feel was um, explained very well in class. Uh, one of the possible questions that you could have gotten on quiz number nine, which was our first Canvas quiz this semester, uh, was that about pole zero cancellation. So if you have, let's say, a GP of S, like so, and we have a pole and a zero, let's, let's say we have a, something at a positive two here, and let's do that right there, and we'll add uh, some value KP, something like that, some gain. So here, we have a zero and a pole that are at the same location. And we were talking very, very, very briefly about when it's okay to cancel and when it's not okay to cancel. So the problem here with canceling is not, not canceling just across the board. It's not that that is particularly wrong, but if the pole and zero are over here in the right-hand plane, which we know is, is uh, really bad. That's, a, that's cause for instability. So they're over here. We don't want to cancel in that case. Um, it's never, never okay to do that. It's, it's okay, say, if we had another GP of us and <clears throat> we have something like this of our same gain KP and another S over here, just to make it the same complexity. This is over here in the left-hand plane, over here. And so if we were to cancel this, since it's in the left-hand plane, it's actually okay because it doesn't change or it doesn't hide any of the instability. So this is okay. This is not okay. And so I'm trying to make that a little bit clearer. Um, in class, I think what happened is that uh, we were talking about this really briefly and I'm pretty sure it was at the very end of a class. And I said, doing this, and I gave this one example, is never okay to do this. And what I was really meaning, if I'd stopped and said the whole line out, never okay to do this because you're hiding the instability in the case of having an unstable pole. So you're masking that. You can never compensate for that. So I'm hoping that that makes it a little bit clearer. And if you did uh, end up missing that question, if you got that question on the quiz, uh, I wasn't intending to give people a harder question than others, but uh, it looks like it turned out that way. So we will have a total of at least two quizzes dropped this semester. So if that hurt you uh, and your grade point average here, um, that that won't be the case anymore if, if that was the, uh, the problem for you in that quiz. Okay? All right. And as always, if you have any questions about this kind of stuff or anything in class, please feel free to uh, ask me over email or Canvas. Uh, I'm pretty quick to respond and uh, there's no silly question. Okay, thank you.